Did you see my poker game tonight? My TIE drive? Well, that's what I was wondering. Like, is the that memory, real? The memory, the whole thing. It's is all that real. real. It's all real. Okay. I've been well, doing magic for 40... Being Floyd already? Yes, I've been doing magic Good. for 45 years. Wow. Now, when I was a kid, I wasn't as, as you know, as professional as I am now. And, but I still love to do prediction tricks. Now, a prediction trick is where you ask someone something and you have the answer in an envelope. That's what a prediction trick yeah. is. Um, so, for instance, I'd ask, maybe I could do one in four. I couldn't do any more than that. I could predict one out of four. So, for instance, Jeff, name any beetle. Any beetle? Yes. Like John? Lennon. Yes, that's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, like, Bailey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beetle? Yeah. Glennon. John? Yeah. We'll All right. we'll now, um, did I influence you into say that? Are you happy with John? I'm happy with John. All right. Now, what if poor Ringo? Man, everybody always screws Ringo. You can get your choice in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick with Lennon. All right. So we got you. you know, so, and so if I had John's name in this envelope, yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah. But you know that's what I did when I was younger. I don't do that anymore. But you know that's the sort of thing I do. And I got a bit older. I'd start doing things that were one in twelve. So for instance, um, AJ, name your favorite month or any month. It doesn't have to be your favorite. Just any month. April. April. So you know you said one in four, which was John, and you said April. one in twelve, which is April. Yeah. And I'd have a prediction in this more, you know, more impressive looking wallet. And now, after doing this all this time, I've decided one in four, one in twelve. That's not... It's not enough. It's not enough. So I thought we'd do one in fifty-two. Uh -huh. oh. And i get a really nice, really expensive wallet with a zipper and everything. <laughs> okay. I thought it'd be a lot the more impressive. zipper and everything. So, um, Your American Airlines card. Yes. Let's have a look. Uh, Jeff, if you just tell me... Um, when to stop, anytime you like. Stop. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm just going to put that card, let's not look at it yet. Um, and um, I just want to make, I want you to see that all these cards are different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could have chosen any of these cards. All different. Looks like a pretty complete mm -hmm. deck. So you have yeah. the Joker. Yeah. All of that. Mm -hmm. Now, so for the very first time, can you, um, can you pick up that card, please? All right. Okay. Can you can you show, can you maybe you can show it to show it to your friends? Big Caesar. Okay. Big Caesar. Right. All right. Now, let's see how well my prediction was. Oh, is it going to be in the zipper? There it is. Uh -oh. Four of Cups. Now, okay. a lot of people think. Let's for the first time. Can we turn over your card, please? That's not the Four of Cups. Now you see, the Four of Cups isn't the prediction, I wrote the prediction on the back. On the back <laughs> I wrote, your favorite beetle will be John, your favorite month will be April, and your favorite card will be the King of Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's impressive. That is impressive. That doesn't make Very sense. Very cool. No, it really doesn't. Thank you. And that's